The next fight is a kickboxing in a light middleweight division. In the red corner, weighing in at 70 kg, fighting out of GMMA, GMMA with a record of two wins and one loss. Please put your hands together for Mihir Bitucci. And our fifth bout of the evening will be a kickboxing bout. Entering for the red corner is Mahir Matucci. 24 years old, with a kickboxing record of two wins and one loss. And ladies and gentlemen, in the blue corner, weighing in at 72 kilograms, Fighting out of Chicken and Martial Arts Academy with a record of no wins, no losses, and one draw. Please put your hands together for Mansour, the Hansour Rude! Fighting out of Twickenham, let's see if that will give him the home crowd advantage. So a bit more experience with both fighters now. Tucci with three fights under his belt, two wins, one loss. And Ruse with four fights. Boxing, one fight, two losses. And kickboxing, one draw. So Mansour we can see a bit more maturity now in the fighters, a bit more experience showing itself. Now Mansell having fought on this show before, we have had the pleasure of seeing him fight. Let's see if that will give him a little bit more expertise than we have previously seen seeing him advance at such a young age. Here we go, round one. Again, this will be a full contact kickboxing bout. All kicks above the waist. Sweeps only allowed if they are boot to boot. Mansour straight in there, bringing Batucci to the ground. Has to be careful. Just lost balance though, nothing particularly clean landed. Mansour must be careful about striking a grounded opponent though. Ruse light on his feet, spinning back kick from Batucci there. Both looking, showing their kickboxing experience. Big right hands coming in there as well. Big right hand from Ruse, very, very dangerous. Batucci the aggressor early on, but Mansour with a little bit more boxing experience. Will that help him tonight? Batucci looking for, to bring the fight to him really hard now. Lovely uppercut from Mansour Ruse. Mansour looking to be very clever in his approach, not letting Batucci get ahead of him. Mansour walking into a straight hand from Bahir. Bahir very dangerous with that right hand. Mansour's going to have to watch out for that one. Mansour Good combos though, kick. finishing up with the leg. And again, placing that cross from Ruse. Have to be a bit careful, he's dropping his guard. Good punch combination there from Ruse. Lovely straight hands. 
Oh, and, and the Superman, Superman getting clever. Being very confident. The delivery on that shot, very impressive from Rudy. Showing a little out, bit more though. polish. Still needs to watch out there. Batichi very dangerous with that right hand. He's looking to land it. But I would like to see Ruse with his hands a little bit tighter. Especially considering the power of Batucci. He's taking the Michael Page approach to fighting. Hands down, hands down. Oh, good cross there, good speed. Again, showing that kickboxing points fighting pedigree. A very good first round, definitely showing we are no longer watching debutees with a little bit more experience from both fighters. Should be a wonderful evening of fights. Yeah, good technical first round actually, really good wasn't it? Good hands, good movement, really both of them very light on their feet. Very dangerous right hand that Batucci is looking to land, but Ruse doing a really good job of moving, distancing, keeping away from it, doing some clean hands, both using their legs. Especially Bruce with those unorthodox techniques, almost formless. It seems he has the capacity to land some very interesting shots tonight. Here we go, going to the start of the second round. Ruse taking it straight into Batucci. Spin kick there, not quite landing from Batucci. Ruse coming, laying in with the punches. Very impressed with Ruse's use of range. He's sticking to the end of his shots and maintaining as Ooh, Batucci comes right forward. Hand. Batucci looking for that big shot now. Ooh, lovely side kick to the face. Good, yeah, good lead leg there from Ruse. Using that well to keep the distance, keep Ruch, uh, Batucci at bay. Batucci throwing that back kick without too much setup. I'd like to see it a little bit cleaner. Brilliant footwork from both of them, particularly Ruse moving around the ring very nicely. Great distancing. Wild right kick. Batucci lost the mouth guard. A little pause in the action there. Patucci looks to me to be breathing a little bit harder as well. Let's see who has the... Ooh, straight oh, straight in. Straight in. Great confidence. Oh, Patucci taking it to him though. Backing him up now. Backing him up. Landed that right hand there. Oh, he's really looking for that right hand. Ruse going to really be careful. Good uppercut from Ruse. Good jab from Batucci there. And again. Good use of that jab from Batucci. Good lead leg. Reaching a bit with that cross, head down. He's gonna have to keep his head up there, Ruse. The problem with Ruse's unorthodox techniques is he does put himself in a few dangerous positions. If Batucci can capitalize, he might cause some serious damage. Both of them not quite so bouncy now. The engine's starting to wane a little bit. Again, going potentially finding that big right hand, not quite connecting with it. Last seconds of the second round. See if any significant shots get landed. Both of them tying up the clinch right now. Potentially looking for those uppercuts. Bruce loving on that Superman punch. Not quite landing it, but it's, good it's, confidence. It's been working, it, it looks impressive. I think Ruse using those more unorthodox techniques gives him a little bit of an advantage on the scorecards, even with Batucci landing some of the more significant strikes. And the crowd always loves the showboat. Especially with that home crowd. You've got to love a Superman punch. But Batucci, very good hands, particularly dangerous with that right cross. He landed a couple of them now and Ruse has felt that. So far not done too much damage, but it's very, very powerful, very swift. Now Bruce has had some success with that lead leg sidekick. If he utilizes that a little bit more, he might be able to edge this in his favor going into the third and final round. He's done well with using it to keep 
Bertucci at bay, keep him away from him as well, because Ruse has a slight reach advantage as well. So he's got to keep him away. Coming in for the third and final round. Really good fight this. Great display from both fighters. Both very, very able. Fast hands to begin from Bruce. Bruce straight in with one two and again. Lovely. Quick one two, quick one two. There. He's got his hands up. Patucci really pressuring him now, really backing him up. And he's coming back. Ruse coming back. And there's that sidekick. And Patucci Ruse very well. Advancing again. Big right hand. But well evaded from Ruse. And again, really trying to land that. Good head movement from Ruse though, not letting it clock him. He's got to watch out if he's going to do these, letting his hands drop when his legs come up. Patucci backing him up. Really looking to finish this fight. Good I think right he knows he may be behind on the scorecards. Lovely maturity from Ruse. Ooh, good left. Uh, I think that rocked him a little bit, but he's looking good. Both fighters showing a lot of heart. Good head movement from Ruse there. Great punches. Lovely up on the inside. Patucci tying him up. Patucci's very dangerous with his hands. A little warning from the referee there. I'd like to see a few more combinations from both fighters mixing up those hands and legs. They've both shown the ability to throw those legs. Let's blend them together a little bit more. Ruse needs to be a little bit careful there. When he throws that lead leg side, he is dropping his hands and it's leaving him slightly vulnerable, especially if he overcommits and falls forward afterwards. He's bringing himself in range. And that is that problem with the unorthodox Good job style there. of Ruse. Ruse and really pushing kick. forward now. Ruse pushing him forward. Now Batucci pressing in again. Right hand coming over the top, looking to land. Batucci pushing forward. Good hand work. And that's time. What an excellent fight from both fighters. Mastery from both guys there. Really, really good. Very impressive. Really good control from Ruse. Moving around. Great hands from Batucci. Deadly right hand. Now, John, who would you have given that fight to? Ruse is the uh, slightly tipped it, in my opinion. His movement around the ring was good. I think he landed more significant shots. Petucci over had more knockout power, but he never quite managed to get a clean shot with that right hand. Ruse did a really good job of just moving his head, moving around, keeping the distance. I'd say he controlled the distance more fully. I have and to agree. significant shots. I think Petucci landed some very solid punches. Really but solid. Ruse he kept going, he kept going, he maintained his movement, his reach and landed with quantity and a fair few significant shots of his own. Bruce had a plan, he stuck to it, he maintained the distance, he never let himself get sucked into a brawl. Did really, really well, but very, very impressed with Batucci as well. So we'll see which way the judges go though. That's just our opinion. Ladies and gentlemen, the judges a popular decision and it is a split decision however it's in favour of the blue corner what a wonderful fight from both opponents Mansour Ruz taking the win there I think a split decision is fair there as well both fighters really really good very close call with Ruz just edging it Great job by both.